So we have created a project and we have created a sub project and here is our object and now just click on execute. Whoa, we have got so many different steps here, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 14, 21, I don't know. There are lots of steps. This really is scary, believe me. It's not just scary for you, it's scary for anybody who is trying to understand LSMW for the first time. It's not easy uh, to look at it and not be puzzled. It's, it's not really that complicated once you break down these steps and classify them into different groups. In fact, uh, when you start to do LSMW, um, not all these steps are created equal. You don't really have to bother too much about all these different steps here. Um, the first step is not the same as, let's say, step number 10 or step number 9. You, you would be spending probably, um, let's say, uh, one hour here, and then in this step, you'll be spending like, you know, 10 seconds. You know what I'm saying? Each step is important, but not all steps are equally important. You don't really have to focus too much on some of the steps, but rather uh, focus only on the most important steps. I'm going to tell you what these important steps are and the steps that you need to focus on. So that would make LSMW look much easier. Now, these steps over here, the last four or five different steps, are only important if you are doing IDOC as the input method. Well, we kind of briefly touched upon the different input methods like IDOCs, BAPIs or recordings. Like I said, we are not going to cover IDOCs or BAPIs or other kinds of input methods. Instead, we are only going to focus on the recording method. So these five steps are not really necessary for us. So that leaves us with 14 steps up until this point, 14 steps. Like I said, all steps are not created equal. So let's categorize these 14 steps into two sections. Up until this point, which is step number six, right? So this is six steps. So up until this point, Consider it like the design of the LSMW. So the first six steps are the design of the LSMW. The next eight steps up until here are the actual running of the LSMW. So first six steps is the design and the next eight steps is the actual process of running LSMW. So probably by now you understand uh, your focus as a functional consultant is mostly going to be on the design part where you configure your script or design on where you design and configure your script. The running part is pretty easy. If you got your data right, the source data I mean, the running is pretty easy. All the eight steps of running can probably be completed in uh, five minutes or ten minutes if you got everything right. But these six steps are going to take like a lot of time, say, uh, you know, it could be hours or sometimes even days, depending on how complex your mapping is. All right, let's focus on the first six steps here for a bit, right? And then up until this point, right? Six steps. Now, the sixth step is pretty rare. You know, you don't really use it that often. Uh, it's important. We can do a lot of things over there, but it's rarely used. You don't have to really use it if you don't want to. You can do a whole bunch of things in your source data, like um, Excel manipulations and stuff like that, which can really uh, help you in not using step number six. So since we are learning LSMW, let's simplify things and not and just strike this step off and say, yes, we are not going to use step number six. All right? Good. Now we only have five steps in the design part. Woo! That's easy. Things are getting easier, right? Five steps. All right, let's focus first on our first five steps. 